Okay, shirtless answers. We've got a question from Alexander Lugin. Um, and, and just to let you know, these are not being done in any particular order. I just... We'll see one of the questions and like, okay, I'm going to try to get to that. Let's get to this one and let's get to the next one. So if you feel, oh no, I did, I, I had my question before this person. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm not doing them in any particular order. So anyway, Alexander asks, what is your favorite music genre and maybe why? Uh, my favorite music genre is probably jazz rock fusion from uh, the late 60s to the late 70s. Um, the whole bweka bweka thing, the, the, the whole works. I love the laid-back elements that came from that whole period. I mean, it, it went into more than, than the jazz rock fusion. You, you heard it in, in just about everything. It, it, was, it was the way our culture was at the time. We were very laid-back. And I, I prefer music that doesn't sound stressed. It doesn't have to be mellow, but it just... It, 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 I mean, I like a lot of, you know, very fast, very staccato, very... Um, I mean, music can even get a bit angry, but when it actually sounds just flat out stressed, it's just, uh, you know, and then theatrics, I'm not much into theatrics. Uh, to me, when, when, when the vocalist is doing the screaming or screeching or growling, blah, 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 the kind of stuff, it's just like, that's theatrics, man. That's all theatrics. You're not. You can't tell me you're putting your soul into this. It's just no. You're just trying to make give it this particular sound, and that's not. That, that's not the same as like putting your all your all into your vocals, like you know, like like I don't know, Joe Cocker or something. Um, you know, sometimes he'll even get kind of off key, but he, you can just tell he's putting his all into it, you know, and that's cool. You know, Marilyn Manson. Oh no, I mean. Yeah, that's, uh, TJ just thinks that's the greatest thing. Amazing Atheist thinks that's the greatest thing. I'm just like, man, I don't, I just can't relate. It's all theatrics. Might as well be the person on stage. And I am singing this song today. I made the day that we had the best day. Ha ha ha, whatever, you know. I'm just like, it, it might as well be that, only it, it's this, it's then then today you know it's just this whole let's be let's play this part you know it's no i just i mean he doesn't sing that way he's more like i, I i'm trying to figure out how to get into the mode i, I can't do it it's just this it, it, it just it sounds painful oh i'm in such agony at all times oh, kind of sound it's just like sweet dreams are made of these Help me! I'm theatrically in pain. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I, I I've never, I, I don't, I don't understand that whole thing. I, I, I like to, I like hearing what feels like someone's genuine feelings, not some contrived thing, you know. So that's why I'm not much into the whole screaming, growling vocals thing in rock. Um. Also, rock, you know, since the late 90s, since we're at 98 or so, rock has really become, it's no longer about rebellion. It's about just aggression. It's just about aggression. I said it funny both times. Aggression. Uh, it's all about being as aggressive as you can. It's all about, I don't know, uh, celebrating a type of anger, almost a... It's, it's, it comes from the same place that a lot of rap does. I mean, rap, the whole... Attit the whole thing about rap is, is, is a lot of it's about an attitude. You're trying to shove forth you're just some sort of badass or you've, you've seen something that people haven't seen. So you've got to show them. You know, oh, you know, instead of just like, um, hey, I'm just another person, but I'm trying to express myself, you know. It's just, there's just, an, and there's an attitude that, that comes with it. And, excuse me, um, so... But I, I listen to music from all over the world. Um, you know, I, I, I listen to a lot of stuff from the Middle East. Uh, I particularly like some, there's some artists that I really like from Egypt. I like uh, this one artist named Mohammed Monur. Uh, the first song I heard by him was this called, song called Sif Safa. And uh, it, it took me by surprise because the whole thing is in, in a, a, a very fast 7-8. And uh, but it's done so fast that it's almost it's it almost it it was almost a little confusing the very first time I heard it I was like 
is that really seven? Because I, I just, it was neat hearing that on those kind of instruments and all that. It's, it was a neat combination of, of some of the traditional music you hear from there mixed with, I don't know, a, a, a fusion from the United States or from Europe. It was just this really neat combination. And uh, anyway, um, but yeah, I like stuff from China, from the Middle East, from uh, there's some German artists that I like. Um, from J there's some artists from Japan. You know, I, I, I listen to a lot of different styles. Um, uh, when it comes to jazz, um, where I start to draw the line is when it begins to become a, just too much of a challenge to figure out what song they're actually playing, where it will almost start to sound like every person playing an instrument is actually playing a completely different song. Um, but I mean, if you pay close attention, you can tell that, you know, what's going on, but it's just... And when you have to work that hard just to come to the realization that they've just rearranged a very simple song, it could have been something like Mary Had a Little Lamb, and they've made it this big production that's, oh, listen to how complex we can make this. It's just like, yeah, there's 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 this point where you, you, you cross this line where you've made something complex for the sake of making it complex, and it's just like, eh, I'm not into that. Um, so... But I do like really odd timings. I do like a really odd progression. So, um, in general, my favorite music is the stuff that is mellow, the stuff that is not stress sounding. Um, I love that laid back feel of. Uh... Okay, he'll have to call back later. I love that laid back feel uh, from that whole late 60s to the, to the late 70s period. 80s had some great stuff, but the rock from that period, oh my god, that was just holy crap. And I think I might be just repeating myself. I've made two other versions of this video and I've I, I, I've forgotten what I've said in this one, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it there. Um What are my political or maybe even some philosophical views on life? Um My political views, well, I'm saying on life, well, political views on life, that's... Let's see, my philosophical views are that I want to do everything to be myself as much as I can. Um, uh, I want to drop any of socials, society's rules for... for... As long as what I'm saying or doing isn't hurting anybody, and I'm thinking about how my actions and words can affect other people, then I just, I don't see that there should be a problem. And as, of course, as long as whatever it is isn't illegal. Um, if I'm not, if I'm not doing anything to take away anyone's free will, then, um... I just don't think there should be a problem. I've got real distracted by my phone ringing. Sorry about that. Um, I, I explained that. I explained this so much better at another time. When in text form, it's so easy for me to do because I can spend the time to really formulate my words, and now I'm just like, <laughs> um, I just want to be me. I just, I want to find myself as much as I can. I want to understand my instincts and balance out, you know, what feels instinctual and what is, what is right, uh, what is the right thing to do. And so, I don't know. <laughs> I'm rambling now. Um, my political views, um, I am, I tend to be very, very, very liberal uh, socially. Um, uh, fiscally, I think our government needs to, needs to work on a number of things. There are so many things that, 
I mean, how many times have you have you heard the story of uh, well, we have to spend this much money this year, so we'll get the same amount next year? Okay, that philosophy goes into tons and tons and tons of things in our government, and it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. I mean, if we really, really attacked that kind of thing all the way down the line and focused on, okay, we need to make it so if people, they re people, if a city, a state, a county, the nationally, we need money for these very, very important things. We need this money now. We need to find ways that they can do that. We shouldn't when we make it so they can't do that and and they we're we're making it we're creating that system where well we have to spend this much money this year so we can the next year we're wasting so much money with that um so in that regard you know i there's a certain amount of fiscal conservatism that i have i said that word funny um so um Anyway, uh, so, yeah, I'm not sure where to go with that. I was trying to think of just some other general things. I, I do get, I do get disgruntled with a lot of liberals and progressives that, Whatever pet issue that they have going on, like if they're defending Muslims, for instance, during the time they're defending Muslims, they'll put Muslims way above our own culture here. And I think that's dangerous. Um, there's just also a certain amount of truly demonizing our culture in a way where, I mean, I complain about our culture. I... I am basically uh, I, I am basically an anti-traditionalist, uh, an anti-conventionalist, an anti-conformist, and just kind of anti-establishment to some degree, but only for the things that are problems. I think the underpinnings of our society, the underpinnings of our government, the underpinnings of our way of life, we have some of the best we, we, we've got it good here, okay? We've got things really, really good here. And I don't want to do things or say things that will jeopardize our way of life, our, our, well, our standard of living, I should say. I don't want to say something that will jeopardize our standard of living. There are things about our way of life that could change. But I don't want to do anything that... You know, because of the domino effect that can happen just because of you start the ball rolling and it will continue to roll uh, however long it rolls. You know, I don't want to, to push out something that could lessen our, our standard of living, that could reduce our standard of living. So I, I see a lot of progressives not caring about that. And that concerns me. It's... It's almost a, an actual, actual hatred of our own culture. And I don't hate our culture. I see it for what it is, and I see how we can improve. But I don't hate our culture. I accept it. I don't fully embrace it. I certainly don't fully embrace it, but I accept it. And I accept that I don't do things or think of things the way our culture says that we should do them. That still doesn't mean that I have a hatred towards our culture. I don't. So, I mean, our culture is, is how we've been able to achieve the things that we've been able to achieve. If, if we didn't have our kind of culture, I wouldn't even be, be talking to you on, on this, this, this webcam here. We wouldn't be having these discussions. We wouldn't be... I mean, we, we could feasibly be live, still living in huts. I mean, so... Anyway, um, yeah. So, as I may have things that I would like to change about our culture, I am not against our culture. I, I think, as I've said in other videos, we have, we have those three pillars. We have, we have uh, 
control, manipulation, and ownership. And uh, we have a number of other great things that hold our culture up, great positive values, but when it comes to three things that have negative connotations that are still absolutely necessary for our society, we've got the, the control, ownership, and, and uh, manipulation. And uh, we can't eliminate any one of those things, or we're done. So, um, and it would be, I mean, a lot of them, it would be nice if we could, but we can't. We eliminate any one of those things and we are done as a culture. So, um, anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. Uh, this has gone over 15 minutes and, uh, blah, blah, blah.